Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be trying to make a game in half an hour because I am bored and why not stress over making a game. And I also want to do this because we finally hit 200k so I want to thank you guys so so much so I thought doing this would be a good way to celebrate that. So as you can see I've got a blank unity project and now we need a timer. Just like that there's a giant timer. So, which says 30 minutes so as soon as I start working on the game the timer will begin and it will go in the top right corner so you guys can continuously watch what's going on. Boom just like that the thing has started so I guess I should start and the first thing what I'm going to do is go edit project settings and download the thing you need for VR to work. Okay cool so I'm, I have no idea what I'm doing so I hope that it's that one I'm meant to click because I'm doing this off memory because I don't have my YouTube video up on how to make a Gorilla Tag fan game. If you are interested in making your own one, go check out my other video and I'll make a even better video on how to add multiplayer to your game if you get this video to 150 likes. Ah uh, great, I have to restart. This is going to take a minute. So you guys are probably wondering where the timer just went. Well, I've taken it down at the moment, so you guys don't actually know how far I am into the thing so far. But at the moment, I can tell you that it is currently 28 minutes and 30 seconds in. Okay, so again, I said I'm doing this with memory, so I'm not sure if I'm meant to install Oculus, but this does look right, so I'm going to guess this is right. Okay, right, now what I've done in that section, I need to go window and go to package manager. Click here, add from URL, and I think it's com.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit. Yep, perfect, I got it first time. Alright, because why not, let's click start to reset, so it just makes life easier, because now I can go into this folder if this stupid bar disappears go yeah all right so if i minimize that go into preset and just like magic now i have to click all of these buttons and it will just make life a lot easier so i don't have to manually set up the whole vr game i'm adding in the gorilla person locomotion so the monkey can actually move and stuff so i'm gonna create a floor because otherwise of course you're gonna fall out the map so just like that, just like that, make it a bit bigger, a bit bigger, that's way too big. Uh, oh, something like that will probably be wide enough. And I need to delete the main camera in the scene. Move the player on. Yeah, as you can see, the player should be working. I didn't mean to click that. Pause. Play, please. Okay, I think it's working. I'll turn back. Um, right, move the hand. Yep, and as you can see, the player seems to be able to move. Take a look at the timer right now because it's going to disappear again soon. So, what I'm going to have to do is right click import package and select the photon VR one. This is pretty much multiplayer. If you want me to make a full on tutorial on how to do that, then get this video to 100 likes in the first two days. Right, in prefabs, I'm just going to drag all of these in, and now I've done that, I need to select the pun 2, which pretty much is the thing that allows you to connect to a server and import that. Okay, so I was having some weird things where this window wasn't popping up, but I've just reloaded Unity and it works. So I did pause for time whilst I did that because it isn't meant to happen. And for this part, I'm going to move it over to my other monitor though. So it's a little code which you guys don't need to see. So now I've done that, I should be able to do that. And yeah, okay, I'm back on track. And what I have to do, I have to go to Gorilla Player, drag in the head, the left hand, and the right hand. And now I'm going to fill this bit in, but you're not allowed to see that because I know one of you is going to try and steal my game. Okay, so now I've finally done that, I think it's time to add in the player model. And of course we got to do this stuff first and then we're gonna have to open up blender to make the player so for this part it's gonna be quite boring so i'm just gonna uh panel snap it into existence each part of the body for example the head the hands but of course the timer is gonna go down whilst i'm doing that 
So have a look at the timer now. As you can see, it's a nice 18 minutes 20. Okay, not going to lie, I did kind of rush your hands. I know they're very strange, but I don't have enough time. There's 15 minutes left on the clock, and we still need to do things like build the map, actually import the character into Unity, and I also want to get a mirror working and maybe a leaderboard. But anyway, we need to add colours, so let's go, I don't know, 3, 2, 1. And now, all of a sudden, we have loads and loads of colours on the character. You're wondering how I did that? All I did was go down to this tab and make colours. But what I've got to do next is select them and do Control J to make them into one whole mesh. Except for now it's being controlled by the hand, so... There we go, much better. Okay, now in Unity I've got 13 minutes left on the clock, so what I'm going to do is import the player, drag it in, and that is way too big, oh my god and i can change the colors in here by the way so i might do that in a minute one of the hardest parts of the challenge is going to come up which is actually seeing if i can link the player to the in-game player because when i make my games my other games all of that it took me about half an hour just to get the player to link so let's hope that's easy because i've only got 12 minutes left on the clock so with this script, I need to drag it onto the right hand and the left hand, and then I'm going to do left hand first. Drag left hand into target, and for pole, I need to find, yep, yeah, that one. So go to left hand, put that one there, yep. And for right hand, I need to do the same thing. I need to drag in the right hand because that means it will uh, the right hand, for example, cosmetics will track properly, and the player's hand will actually move. And I'm going to hope it's this one then. Yep, perfect. It is. And where is my player? Did I, have I dragged under head? No. So what I've got to do is drag the player model under head or it won't spawn in. Alright, so I've got 10 minutes left on the clock. So what I'm going to do is probably texture the player and then we're going to make map texture. As you can see. So I think, yep, it'll be in materials. As you can see now, I can drag it onto the player. And if I duplicate this, I can, oh, I'm going to drag it down to get a darker one, a bit darker, yep. And we're going to turn the shininess down because shininess just doesn't look good. And We'll drag it onto the eyes. No, we won't. That looks horrible. And finally, I know this might be a little bit weird, but trust me, it does look okay. We're gonna color it like that and drag it on. And I think that's a pretty good player model for a quick thing. So now I'm gonna remove the timer again and make a map. And I won't even be able to see how much time I've left. So let's just hope for the best. So, as you can see, the player is working fine. Ignore these circles, it's because I don't know where they are. There, they just are. But the player is working, so I'm going to make a map. Just realized something which is absolutely perfect i don't actually have any textures so i'm going to import some go here go to this thing uh point no filter turn that down to something like 64 drag that on and then i need to do the same for that one and then of course change this one to both settings and finally do the same for the bark and okay i'm going to bring in the timer for the last couple of minutes but scale it down oh god i only have three minutes um right so i'm going to go into materials now i'm going to select all these faces 
just like that and then I need to select these ones as well boom boom and finally that bit drag on the grass texture and now I have some grass which I think looks pretty good there is a little bit of shine by so I'm going to turn down the smooths so I've got one minute left so I'm going to speed run a mirror to see what I need to create a render texture I'm going to pull it mirror and then create a material and call it mirror blah whatever it is drag that into there then create a 3g object a cube where is the cube i've lost the cube how have i lost the cube okay it's over there it's fine i'll just drag it up and in move it down oh, 34 seconds okay so i need to right click uh camera and then in the camera i need to target texture select that drag that onto there and now i think i think that's a mirror um hang on let me move the cube uh, uh, it's upside down negative on the z and now i think i think that's worked Okay, I've got a mirror, and one second. Oh, the time is up. Uh, right, how do I turn it off? I don't even. I don't even know how to turn it off. Okay, right, perfect. Move the timer down and away, and I think I should load into game and see what I've done. So I have messed up the mirror as it's reflecting on the wrong side so i think all i had to do to fix that was change that bit back and is that bit working now yeah all i actually had to do was rotate it 80 right i do not need to do that let's do 180 i yeah 180 okay so i think that worked yeah so as you can see the mirror does work it's not that great though because the person's heads up here and the things down there so i did need to adjust the camera a little bit maybe not that much if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like and subscribe button it helps me out so 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 much and thank you all for getting me to 2k subscribers have a brilliant rest of the day. If you want me to publish this to App Lab, I'm not sure if it will even get through. Then get this video to 200 likes in the first two days. I know that won't happen. That's why I'm saying it. I think it in the earlier in the video, I said 100 days. But apart from that, have a brilliant rest of the day and good night.